Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to show you guys all of my summer favorites. I kind of thought it was a little too late. Since I'm doing it at this time, I feel like it really shows you guys that I've been loving these products all summer long. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, go ahead and subscribe. And also follow me on Instagram. I cannot wait to get into our favorites, so let's begin. Since it's summer, let's talk about scents, sunscreens, all of that. As I get older, I realize how important sunscreen is and to be honest, I never really cared about it in the past until now because I am getting older. I do need to have that good sunscreen. So these are the two sunscreen I have been using for the summer for my body. So I have a different one that I use for my face. So the ones that I use for my body is this Super Goop Play Everyday Lotion. It's SPF 50, which Soleil, if it's not SPF 50, Girl, what are we doing? I've used these sunscreens for my hot girl walks and when I go to the beach and they work so well. It's the Sol de Janeiro Rio Radiance and it's also SPF 50, which honestly I didn't notice. <laughs> but yeah, they both work super well. The only thing is that this one doesn't really smell like anything. It just smells like regular sunscreen. And then this one has a, like a smell to it. Let me tell you the tea. It makes your body look luminous, gorgeous. And when you're on the beach and you want to find like a hot man, this is perfect, okay? For a product that's from Sol de Janeiro, you would think that it smells amazing. Like you cannot stop smelling it. And I just, I'm not a fan of the smell. And I think the Rio Radiance, they have it in a spray bottle. And I believe I smelt it and I really like the smell of it. But this one, I just don't like it. But it is super radiant. I'll put a little bit on my, oops, sorry, I've used a lot of this. Okay, I'll put a little bit on my hand. So she's radiant the boots. The smell is not terrible. It's just I was expecting it to smell so much better than it does. That's what I'm going to say about it. I do find that when you get stuff at Sephora, they don't always work. Just because they're expensive doesn't mean they work. But as a redhead, I can tell you that both of these sunscreen work. I've worn both of them on the beach and they have protected the heck out of my skin. These are some really good body sunscreens if you guys are looking for one. I don't know where my other sunscreen is. Okay, I also have two sunscreens for my face. This is the Ole Hendrickson SPF 30 Banana Bright Mineral Lotion. I wear this on like my days where I just need a little glow. I do work inside, I work at a hospital. Yeah, these UV rays still shine through through the windows. So obviously I still need a sunscreen. So this one by Ole Hendrickson is so good. I usually kind of use it for my day to day sunscreen. It is only SPF 30, which honestly I heard was actually good, but as a redhead, like I need a little bit more. This is the one I use on my work days, and I think I have used it when I went for like a hot girl walk, and I, I haven't got burned this summer, you guys, so I'm really on my sunscreen game. And the other sunscreen that I love and adore, she is from Laneige. I actually think she's in my car because I've been using her so much when I go for my hot girl walks or when I go to the beach and I just, I need something like in my car so I don't forget to put it on. The Laneige is really good. And I think that one's SPF 50. And that's the one I always wear when I go out in the sunlight. So those are my two face sunscreens that I've been loving lately. I think we should continue on with like body stuff since we talked about sunscreen. So... I'm so excited to show you guys these products because I've been obsessed. This is the Hard Candy All Over Body Luminizer. It does not transfer onto your clothing. I'm kind of wearing a little bit right now. Do you see that sparkle, that shimmer? There's a lot of body luminizers on the market right now, but this one's cheap. I got it at Walmart. So if you guys are looking for like a nice little glow, a little shimmer to put on your decollete when you are going out with your friends and you just need a little, mm. it's very glittery. So like, as you can see, well, I don't know if you guys can see, but my hand is full of glitter and I rinsed it already, but I do really like this. If you want something to just sparkle when you're out in public, I feel like this is a go-to. I don't know if you guys watch my YouTube shorts. Let me know if you also watch my YouTube shorts and also watch my YouTube videos because a girl wants to know. I talked about these two products when I talked about my shaving routine. This is like essential to have a good bikini line, no bumps, no nothing, and just look smooth and glistening. This is the Glaze Donut After Shape Oil by the brand Truly. I've used a lot of their products. I've liked them in the past, but this one just really stands out to me. And I've used it all summer long, and I've, I'm like down to the label, which is 
insane because I used it on my legs I used it on my bikini line and it really makes your skin glisten and glow and I've been obsessed you literally shave and then you apply some of this and your skin looks so good and is ready for your little summer zate mm. it literally smells like a donut and not in like a weird gross like you know those like chocolate scents where it's like oh this smells like chocolate and it smells terrible this is not it this is literally like a dessert in a bottle and you will smell like a dessert after you shave which is the goal and honestly not recommend that shaving oil enough a lotion i've been loving i know we all love the sol de janeiro lotion scents and they are coming don't you worry but for now i want to talk about this lotion this is so amazing this is the way body cream and the scent St. Bart's. Everyone has been obsessed with the hair and body mist. I think it's this scent but a mist and honestly I want to buy that as like my Hawaii scent when I'm in Hawaii because slay. This just smells so good. It, it literally smells like you're on vacation, you're on a tropical island. It smells so good and those nights where either I'm going out on a date, I'll do like the shave oil and then this on top. You smell like a dessert boo. Or you can just put this on your like night routine and just make you smell so lovely. I would apply this everywhere and then spray the body mist. I feel like that would just enhance the yummy tropical vibe scent. I've been really obsessed with this and it really moisturized the skin. Honestly, I always talk about me moisturizing my skin and I do not do it enough. And even in the summertime you need to do it, not just in the winter. So she has been my go-to. Let's talk about this. Okay, this is by Rare Beauty. It's their like aroma stick. I actually don't know <laughs> what it's actually called, but it has this little like pump here that you pump the bottom and a little bit of like a gel aromatherapy. You put it a little bit on your wrist, rub it on the back of your ears. I always keep this in my bag, especially my work bag. I get really bad anxiety and honestly you guys this has helped I'll be like laying in bed having anxiety not really knowing why and then I'll just smell it and it honestly naturally just calms me down I think there's like lavender I don't know but there's like three different essential oils that is supposed to help relax you and calm you down and it just smells so amazing it really has helped with my anxiety if I'm being completely honest it does just give you that like natural like calmness that you need during those little moments so I would really recommend this if you guys are having a little bit of anxiety okay you're an anxiety queen like me this really does help and I've been obsessed with it. I know it's not really like a summer favorites. It's more like an all year round favorites, but I would definitely recommend this by Rare Beauty. So this is amazing. This is actually the mini size, but I'm going to get the big size because I've been obsessed with it. So this is the Solawasu Gentle Cleansing Oil. It's a cleansing oil that you can get at Sephora. So many people online are like, you need to double cleanse. You need to do an oil and then like your face wash, I guess. I'm not a dermatologist, do not come for me. But I've never actually got a oil, a face oil, personally. But it has changed my life. I use this before I wash my face. It takes off all of my makeup, and I mean all of it. My skin already feels so good and hydrated. And then I go ahead, wash my face do all my skincare and my skin has never looked better in my entire life. I just really, really recommend this and I think that out of all the products that you buy from this video, this should be number one. Okay girl, you know I love a product that hides the pores. So this is the Fenty Skin Cookies and Cream Whipped Clay Intense Pore Blackhead Face Scrub. Girl, she is stunning. I love this face scrub i feel like everybody needs a really good face scrub and this has been my favorite lately it honestly doesn't smell like anything it's just i don't know why it's called cookies and cream maybe because it looks like cookies and cream it doesn't actually smell like it it works so well and my pores instantly go away when i use a scrub so obviously she's at the top of the list she is a favorite i'm almost done this i wonder if you can even see through the bottle this is the sephora 7% vitamin C and E glow serum, super glow serum. I have been obsessed. I don't always grab products from the Sephora line, but girl, she's kind of good. I actually got this from a friend as a gift. I think I had it for like a long time and I didn't use it till now. My skin looks so glowy, hydrating, and gorgeous. 
I just I love everything brightening during the summertime because you just you want to look glowy you want to look brightening I can't really say anything else about it it's just a gorgeous glowy serum I use it every single day and every single night so I feel like that kind of tells you that I love it so I went to an Asian market and they had all kinds of skincare all kinds of makeup this just really stood out to me it says it's J Jin green tea eye gel patch I hope I didn't butcher any of that it is so slay there's like caffeine in it so it really I have the lid because I don't want it to like spell it has a bunch of eye masks it really makes my under eyes just glow that just like brightens my under eye and i love it especially like a self-care night right before i start work again it just makes the eyes look so slay so this is the brand i don't know if you can buy it online Ooh. probably use them about four or five times and they're still like up to the brim girl next thing let's talk about fragrances these are the star of the show. You can buy all five of these from So De Janeiro in like a gift set and that's what I bought them from, a gift set and they smell so good. Because I have so many and I'm like, okay, I need to wear these for like certain occasions. I use this like light pink one. This is the 68. I've been using, mm, it's so girly and so fruity. This is the one I use for like any girls outings, any like girls vibes, girly vibes. This is the one that I've been wearing constantly. Because there's so many of them, there's so much left. And I, not that I want to use them up, but like summer is coming to an end. And I just don't know if the scents are really that fun, not summertime. You know? The Sol de Janeiro 87 spray. Mm. This is like summer in a bottle. Whenever I go to the beach, she's it. Okay? I'm wearing it all summer long on the beach. It's just, it reminds me of the beach. And I love it so much. Okay, next, this is my favorite. This is the 40 spray. Ugh, this is giving summer date night vanilla. You're gonna entice your mans to, you know, you wanna hang out, you wanna chill, you wanna go on a date, this is it. This smells so, so good, and it's like my go-to to be like sexy vanilla vibe. This is the original smell, I believe, which smells so good. This is kind of one that I would wear like day to day, all summer long. It's more like a day smell, but it is kind of sexy you can wear at night to be honest. I do still have the big Sol de Janeiro tub of cream, and whenever I put that on, girl, I gotta spray myself with this. It just enhances the smell, and it smells so good. Okay, and last but not least, we have this. Actually, honestly, it kinda is least. This is the Sol de Janeiro 59 spray. I'm just, she's different. I feel like when I smell in the bottle, I'm like, okay, that smells good. It's like giving campfire vibes. Like this is when I would wear it at night. If I want to entice my man, honestly, I would not wear this. <laughs> I don't think it smells that good. I don't know what man likes this one out of all the other smells, but like obviously let me know if your man does because may maybe I'm wrong. I mean, I'm not a guy, so I don't know what the boys like. <sighs> the thing is it smells so good, but when it goes on me, it doesn't smell that great. Like you know how some scents smell good in the bottle and not good on you? I feel like this is this is it for me. It doesn't smell like what it's supposed to smell like and I just, I don't reach for this one as often if I'm being completely honest. I would recommend for you to buy the whole thing, especially if you don't want to commit to one scent or you just want to see which ones you like the best. I feel like this is the perfect set and Sol de Janeiro, you are pretty genius for coming out with this. I have another scent I did forget about. Let me tell you. So this is the Kaoli Eden Juicy Apple. I feel like maybe I've talked about this for like a fall favorites. I feel like this is giving fall, but it's so sweet. It can also give summer. Whenever I'm literally just going to get coffee, this is what I put on, and I think I smell so amazing. I feel like that girl, when I wear this, I love that it's a travel size, but I have been wearing it quite often. Mm -hmm. I feel like she is a summer and fall vibe. I feel like because the apple-y, it's like giving, let's go to an apple orchard. With the sweet smell, it does give summer. And I feel like I've been wearing this a lot and I really, really enjoy it. I feel like right now, this is like my scent. And she's that girl. So I would recommend this. I can't really speak on all the other Kaoli fragrances because I have not used them as much as this one, but I've been obsessed with this one, okay? So go get it, it's so good. I wanna talk about this. So this is the uh, Tarte maracuja juicy plumping lip oil in the shade honeysuckle yes it is i just want to make sure 
It looks so dark. It looks scary, okay? She's not. This is the look. She giving date night. She's giving, mmm, okay? She makes the lips look juicy. Obviously, that's the name. And I just love it so much. The applicator is so soft and so, like, movable. Like, look. It's something that just, like, tints your lips so lightly. Like, you know? It gives a little... It looks gorgeous and it's something that I've just been obsessed with. I always have it in my bag and it's an oil so it really just keeps the lips hydrated. I really recommend this. I have not tried the other shades but if you have let me know in the comments down below. I've just been really obsessed with this and I feel like it's kind of like a go-to. Another lip product that I want to talk about is this little combo here. I actually don't have much Charlotte Tilbury that I've been obsessed with. I'm not that big of a fan, to be honest. I feel like it's a little overpriced, but, you know, slay. My friend got me this combo, and I just want to show it to you guys. So, it comes in, like, a pair of two. So, it comes with this lipstick, the 90s pink. So, it's, like, a little dark, but she's everything. And then it also comes with the... Ibiza Nights, which is like this beautiful little gloss. Honestly, I've been wearing this gloss on every lipstick I have. I just feel like it really makes it look more gorgeous, starry night vibes. So I do pair these a lot together, but when I don't really want to do a dark lip, I'll put this on like a regular little pinky nude, and she's giving everything. If you just want to get one, I would recommend the gloss because you can put it on any shade you can wear it on its own and it's just so gorgeous and so like glossy but i love this and you guys should go check it out i have quite a bit of blushes to show you guys but i want to talk about this concealer first before we get into the blushes so this is the laura mercier real flawless weightless concealer and it is so good I don't really talk about many concealers I feel like on my channel especially my favorites because I feel like it doesn't really do much I get it in the shade ON1 the wand is just perfection my friend has introduced me to this concealer and I was kind of hesitant because it is it is kind of pricey but it is so good she just like brightens it's kind of like sheer it's not like full coverage so if you need a little full coverage maybe this one isn't for you i would highly recommend this the real flawless weightless perfecting concealer she has been one of my favorites this summer especially in the summer you don't want to have too much like cakey makeup or like too much going on you want it to look more like natural skin and i feel like this one will definitely get you there Okay, let's talk about some blushes, baby. Let's talk about this milk product. She came out probably like April, very early on, okay? But I have not done a favorites video, so I have to tell you guys about it. So this is the Milk Makeup Cooling Water Jelly Tint. I have it in the shade Chill. I love her. Like, I really, really do. Look how gorgeous. Because they are a skin tint, they tint your skin pretty quickly. I was just not messing with that. I saw the reviews, I wanted to try it out, and I was just not messing with putting it directly on my face. So I actually used the Rare Beauty Blush Brush. It is the best blush brush you'll ever buy, is the Rare Beauty one. I talked about it in the past, so we're not gonna talk about her now, but if you guys want a good um, blush brush, the Rare Beauty one is perfect. So I actually use it with this skin tint, and I quickly just dabble it on, put it on my little nose, and it's giving like sunburnt-esque, and I live for it. It is so cute. You can wear it with makeup, without makeup. This is a really good skin tint. I feel like it didn't really get the exciting applause that it was supposed to get because people put it directly on their skin. But I've been obsessed with this, and I will definitely say this is one of my favorites. She's an oldie but a goodie. This is the Bene Benetint by Benefit, and it is just so good. I put it on my cheeks, I put it on my lips all of the time, especially when I wanna get just like that natural little rosy to the lips and the cheeks. She is perfect, I know she is so not new, but this is the original and it looks so good on the skin. I can't really talk about it anymore because like you have to try it out for yourself. It's just, it's the best. Okay, I got two new blushes that I want to talk about. Eee, I love blush. So this is the Lawless Blush in the shade Gumdrop. Girl, she's perfect. <sighs> she's so stunning. It honestly looks like I haven't even touched it, but I got my little brush marks in it. Because I tell you, I just used the blush brush. This is so gorgeous. I don't usually go for like pinks like this because... I don't know, I just don't think it looks that great on me, on my fair skin, but she does. She looks so, so good. I have not tried any of the other shades. I put a little bit and she just, 
she's Barbie. It matches my top exactly. Maybe I should put this blush on. This is it compared to my hand. When I saw it online, I thought it was gonna be like this big. And she came and I was like, whoa, she's big. But I'm obsessed. So I would totally recommend this. I love this blush, especially when you wanna be like girly. I feel like a pink blush like this is just perfect. Okay, last but certainly not least. This is by House of Labs, okay? This is in the shade Gloss, Glassy Rosette. She is giving everything and more. So I'm wearing her right now. She's just glowy and like creamy and easy to apply. I tried to test out some of the other ones and they kind of just like stained me really quickly, but this one doesn't do it. It's like super easy to just blend. She's just like perfect and I love her, especially for like a date night. She's just like a darker rosy, which is like more date night vibes. And I just want to mention her because she is new, but I love her. I love talking about my products and being like her, she, like their people. So that is the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope I'm not too late with this summer favorites video because all these products are super amazing and definitely need their time to shine. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys have these products or, want, or are gonna purchase these products, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you. And I hope you guys are having the best summer ever, 2024, slay. And I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video.